Next on the sneaker front, we have an announcement courtesy of Hypebeast about the new Fragment Design Nike Dunk Highs. Now, I've said previously before that I am not a big fan of Dunks. I think they're basically the budget version of an Air Force One. I think if you want that silhouette and if you want that paneling, you're better off just getting a Jordan One or getting an Air Force One. They're far superior shoes. They just look better on the feet. I've always maintained that there's something about the Dunks, maybe the retros, maybe not the originals. They actually come out when, is it 80s, 70s, whenever they did come out? But there's something about the overall shape of them that just doesn't sit right when you actually put them on your feet. They don't look that too bad when you actually put them on the shelf. But then when you have them on your feet, they look terrible. And of course, these product shots are disgusting. They didn't actually... The lacing job they did is terrible. They're not laced properly. They're laced too tight. They lace like how, um, you know, Marquis... What's his name? MK, Marquis Fingerjiggy, MKBHD from that tech channel, how he laces his Jordan 1s. You know, it's just a crime against humanity how he you know absolutely strangle those bad boys all the way up to the top um so they don't look that great with the lacing but there's something about how they look and even the quality on here like th this is why sometimes i understand why people get reps like i said i'm rep fan for life if i can't buy my stuff from retail and enter with the uh, retail if i can't enter a raffle and have the opportunity you know to purchase a shoe with my hard-earned money then I, i'm just gonna go rep i don't give a crap in it because I've, I've been in this game for too long to be denied shoes because you know a, a bunch of bots on discord are buying them up and stuff i don't want to get involved in that game but look at the quality of this even this product shot right it's on hype piece look at all the all the creasing and the leather like that doesn't look like good leather to me not sure about you but that looks a little bit cheap that looks like a foot because usually there is a i don't know what the lay a level is that's not really true because i would say gr but not all grs are made equal some grs have really good leather in them but for some reason when it goes to like mainstream athletic stores like you know or sorry sporting goods stores like footlocker or jd sports whatever it may be they usually have nike shoes that have this sort of leather in it on them um where it's sort of like plasticky um it's just it sort of creases really easily like you just touch it and it's already creasing really badly and if you know anything about you know wearing brand new shoes the last thing you want is to your shoes to look like you've been wearing them for 10 days when you've only just got them uh, eventually they're going to crease up and get battered and bruised but you don't want them to look instantly bad because of the cheap leather but they just look a bit cheap right the leather don't you think so maybe it's just me but this is why look even the finishing here on some of the cuts and panels and seams and stuff it's just all a bit crappy do you know what i mean it just doesn't look that great and like i said attention to detail why would you put out product shot of a shoe um primarily marketed towards sneakerheads and not have it laced up correctly it just doesn't make any sense don't get me wrong i'd rather they just do this than do another naff picture of some dude wearing pin rolls and leaping from somewhere or putting his feet into a bit of water or slow mowing down a bit of stairs cool but still as product shots this just don't don't look great i mean they look just terrible um but like i said overall model itself is pretty okay um again i'm a big um hiroshi fujiwara fanboy so anything he does I'm, I'm automatically a fan of so i do like the colorway i do like the application of it on this dunk uh, you know the little branding here on the outsole with some of the i guess the model number and whatever it may be on the outside kind of hiroshi fujiwara's, hiroshi fujiwara's signature you've got the double thunderbolt here towards the back of the heel which is also going to be an instant um value sort of like a cute no, value boost on the shoes i feel those kind of things when they put the logo on the side they change the tongue labeling those are always things that are going to add to the resale but overall as a model on the dunk just a waste of opportunity i just in, in my opinion i feel like does Hiroshi even wear dunks day to day? I'm not too sure. He obviously make them look great. He put them on with a pair of, you know, um, Levi's, um, with a pair of, you know, very expensive Levi's with a nice John Smedley knit piece or something, a Louis Vuitton tote bag or something. I mean, he will make them look a bit swaggy, but as they look at the moment, I'm just generally not a fan. I have to be completely honest. I just think it's a waste of opportunity. I think Nike are doing everything in their power to make the dunks a thing. They really want the dunks to be an absolute thing thing, but it's just not going to be a thing in my opinion it's just they're just not that popular not that great um outside of maybe dunk sbs do you ever see anybody actually wearing dunks day to day and even dunk sbs who where's the last person time you see somebody actually wear one of those funny colored dunk sbs that they put out 
they don't sell that well. The only people I see actually wearing them are skaters sometimes who happen maybe to get them free because they're on the team or they got floater pair, whatever it may be. But day to day, in terms of wearing them, like actual trainers, battering them, not like people that are going to stand in the middle of the road and pose with their color coordinated outfit. No, I mean, people actually wearing them day to day. I don't see many people wearing them. I don't think they're popular. They're never really going to overtake an Air Force One. They're never going to come close to overtaking a Jordan. So it's a bit of a wasted opportunity. I will know the legacy, whatever it may be, but look at them. Look at the lacing. Come on, man. Do you honestly think that's like and they're going to be charging you what 150 pounds for these right and they don't even have the decency to relace the shoes right they just took them out of the box put them next to each other and took a picture on an slr look at the quality of this lever as well forget the lace look at the lever look at that lever that lever is shocking if, if you don't see this right if you listen to the podcast it's basically the lever on one of the flaps that goes towards the front of the shoe uh, towards the top of the shoe is basically creased all over. And in Dunk story or in Dunk history, whoever puts their lace eyelets through the top of those um, two eyelets here, who does that? No one. Look at this. It's all creasing all over the place. Just looking at it, it looks like it's going to crease. Jesus Christ. Maybe the lever on this part of it, on the toe box, is a bit better, right, than the, le than the lever on that on the outside. But it just doesn't look great, man. It really, really doesn't quality-wise. Like, And they're going to want to charge you an arm and a leg for these. You're going to have to enter many, many raffles. You're going to have to tag your friend in the comments, you know, leave a heart message, send them a proof of your negative COVID test. Like you have to do so many nonsense things to get these shoes and the finish on them. Look at even the back of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like this is why people buy reps. Look at the finish on, on the back of these shoes. Look. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, <laughs> like uh, honestly, like imagine trying to be a sneaker authenticator at StockX or something. It's legitimately a thankless task. Like, you just got to hope that some of the rep stores don't do um, faithful replica. Usually they don't anyway because people just want the shoe. They don't care about how accurate they are. If they're, 90, if they're like 70% accurate, they'll still buy them. So you just got to hope if you're a sneaker authenticator, if you're StockX in general, you just got to hope by and large, the actual big money maker shoes don't get repped as well as you'd hope they do. Because if they do get repped as well as Nike, as badly as Nike make them, like look at this, look at all the lumpy bits. Look at the, the pattern cutting on here. It's just the finishing, the seam is just terrible, right? Terrible, absolutely terrible. But hey, you know, people are going to queue up for them. Will I probably end up getting them? Probably. Do you know what I mean? All this talk of me talking, am I still going to enter the raffle? Probably I am. They got us by the balls, mate. They got us by the balls. This is a form of modern day slavery. Kanye West was right, mate. This is horrible. Horrible. Look at this. It's... The, 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 the quality is just absolutely shocking they've got a couple of thunderbolts in the back and already, i'm already creaming my pants even though the quality of the lever is absolutely diabolical yaza yaza mean um so yeah leave it. the advert's pretty cool though the others are cool a bit about it at least they released the shoes in the advert thank god right for this um is this a is this a magazine or just if it looks like an, they've just taken an inspiration from some of the old school japanese sneaker mags and made like a little you know piece of advertising for it so thank god they released the shoe for the advertising look how different look at the improvement of the shoe from that right to this in terms of just how it looks right in terms of just how it looks and the about the appeal of you being able to buy them maybe i'm looking too much into it but look look how shitty they look here and look how much interesting they look there that looks like a far better proposition right in terms of buying a shoe that just looks cooler doesn't it like, oh, I don't, don't know why it's so hard, man. Um, is there a date for them yet? We start to check out. Hiroshi, the, the, they've got a date. The Nike Fragment Design Dunk Low is scheduled to release on June 5th. Oh, it's called a Beijing. I don't know why it's called a Beijing. What's the inspiration about Beijing with this? Who knows? Um, priced at 170 US dollars, mate. 170 US dollars for a pair of dunks is just wild considering, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me.